needles, pills, and powder. They have all become very common sites around Western PA. And it's not just a problem in inner cities anymore. Heroin has found its way into the suburbs. We were driving through North Oakland. We just happened to stumble upon CeCe's Farm Stand. This is an amazing group of people that serves a warm meal and a step in the right direction. Brand new this morning, three people had to be rushed to the hospital after an accident in Penn Hills. The accident happened on Frankstown Road. We are told the car crashed into a utility pole. Overnight, utility crews finished repairing two water main breaks in downtown Pittsburgh. They were on Forbes Avenue and Smithfield Street. Other news to get to this morning, two masked gunmen stormed into a Mount Oliver home and opened fire. It's a story we first told you about yesterday morning. Here we go, Pittsburgh. The excitement has been building all day. You can feel it. We're at the point. We're at Rivers Casino as so we get ready for the 2015 fireworks show. Happy 4th of July, everybody. You are looking at live pictures from downtown Pittsburgh. People are already camped out. They started at 9 o'clock this morning. So we found our hiding spot. We're out here in the woods a little bit, and Emily and her little brother Ryan, we're going to stay here and see how long it takes for them to find us. Why do you think charges are being filed if everything is legit? I called the Granite Company. This is Catherine Amenta from Channel 11. How are you? And they said there's no way to confirm a failed fax. Mr. Eekman, your attorney called you a bad businessman. What do you say to that? Do you have anything to say to the people today that were in the courtroom? Ekman will be staying out on bond until his sentencing on July 7th. And he told the judge today in the meantime, he will continue working at Lowe's to try to put a dent in that $92,000 in restitution. At the Allegheny County Courthouse, Catherine Amenta, Channel 11 News.